<clears throat> Welcome everybody. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May Allah Almighty's peace and light, mercy and strength, patience and power be with you, with myself. Uh, mashallah, we have beloved brothers and sisters from all over the world. Welcome to you all. I pray that you're all well and your families are good. Inshallah, we'll uh, begin officially in just a few moments, but we can take a few moments just to say hello, check in. Um, how are you guys doing? So welcome. We have, mashallah, from uh, all over the world, all over the planet. Welcome, Brother Nader from Florida. I'm just going to quickly scan through and, you know, welcome to all of you. Uh, Zafar, Trinidad, Maria from Scotland. Beautiful. Ruby Dreamer from Turkey, welcome. Sister Helena, welcome. Krista from England. Sadat, welcome to you from, I believe, Pakistan. Victoria, welcome to you from Sweden. Uh, from Qatar, we have, mashallah, India, Austria. Shakur also from Sweden. Uh, good to be with you all again. We're going to begin in just a moment. So, inshallah, we'll just have a short introduction. Um a little bit of checking in, and then inshallah we'll proceed with our dhikr and meditation. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm I'm curious, just I want to check in with you guys. Um, how do you all feel, and and like what is happening with you guys in terms of? And I don't know how close you are or are not following the events in Gaza and in Palestine. I'm mean, assuming most people are pretty plugged in and and following the news. Um, and the updates and, you know, just sort of whatever keeps coming out from there. So I'm just curious. I mean, are you guys following, you know, fairly closely what's happening and and how are you doing with it? Like what is coming up for you guys? <clears throat> so um, if you can share in the comments, I'm very curious to hear from you guys. Uh, more and more hearts have been heavy. Oh, Alhamdulillah, welcome. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, this is, uh, subhanAllah, that's, I think everybody's heart that's paying attention is, is very heavy in pain, frustration, perhaps anger. Welcome, Putri. Uh, Zach, an emotional roller coaster between anger and grief and hope. Good. And we must hold on to hope. That's essential. And remember that Allah is in control and nothing can happen except by his will. So as difficult and as uh, grief stricken as the situation is, uh, Allah is in control and, and he will, he will move this in the direction that he wills. Uh, sun toucher obsessed while you're thinking about his Palestine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've never watched so much uh, content really ever in terms of just, you know, consuming content in terms of what's happening. And uh, I guess we've got to find the balance in being able to do that. Um, Ali, anger and frustration. Sidi, frustration. Yeah. Helplessness. Frustration, anger. Uh, welcome from Brazil. Welcome. Several people from Brazil. Mashallah, welcome. Grief, resilience, hope. Mm -hmm. Shaheen, yeah, guilty, living a regular life, and yet seeing, you know, this is one of the things that comes up, right? It's very difficult to carry on as normal uh, at this stage when we when we know and we see what's happening uh, overseas and in Palestine. It's very difficult to carry on as normal. Heaviness in the air, more, more difficult to breathe physically and spiritually. That's probably the one thing that we need to do more than anything is actually breathe. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Victoria, heartbroken. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Upset, angry. So I guess a lot of us are feeling very similar emotions, but I'm happy to see that there's hope in there as well. You know, everything starts to, you know what happens with crises? Um, 
and really with death, right? With the crises in general, it brings everything into perspective. You know, it brings everything into perspective. And it's hard to pretend and sleepwalk through life when you begin to see the reality of the world. Alhamdulillah. Inspiration at the display of Iman. Amin. So one of the one of the positive things that are coming out of this is the incredible interest in and in now in learning about Islam and trying to figure out what is the source of the faith that these people can be going through this and yet be so resilient, surrendered, and even hopeful. So we have record numbers of people reading the Quran, coming to Islam, and it's just, just the beginning. So they may plan, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning as well. Imad, Imada, suffering, can't sleep. Yeah, I remember in Bosnia and Herzegovina, I was quite young at that time, but I remember that too. So, I mean, I got I to kind of, I don't know, think about how I say some of this, but I'll do my best. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, everybody. Inshallah ta'ala. Uh, alhamdulillah. I'm glad that you guys could make it. Inshallah, we'll do our best to proceed with strengthening our connection with Allah, strengthening and awakening, God willing, the light of faith in our hearts through his remembrance. But before we enter into dhikr and meditation, we should talk a little bit about um, what we're doing, why we're doing it, and really how it relates to what's happening in the world. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most compassionate, the source of strength, the source of peace, the source of power, the source of light, the source of protection, the source of safety and security, and the source of victory. Unbelief, kufr, is not something new. It's always been in the world from the very beginning. And also from the very beginning of the world, there are those who align themselves with belief and those who align themselves with unbelief. Those who align themselves with faith and light and those who align themselves with darkness. Those who align themselves with goodness and those who align themselves with evil. So it's nothing new. This has been the case from the dawn of time. And it's important to remember that those who align themselves with good and righteousness and light, faith, belief with God are not simply those who carry a title, a name, a label. You can be a Muslim and be a tyrant or an oppressor. You can be a Jew, a Christian, a Buddhist, an atheist, uh, anything. And we see that. And we've seen that throughout history. So Islam is very special and unique in how it establishes the case for righteousness, for excellence, for determining who are on the side of goodness and truth and light, who are on the side of God, who are seeking to serve God and who are not. And the Prophet ﷺ said all human beings, and he said all men, all human beings are equal. And that which differentiates them is their piety, their piety, their God consciousness. And it is impossible, right? If we think, who is Allah? Allah is the most merciful, the most compassionate, the source of life, the source of love. It, it, every, it, this is how he has revealed himself. He is the merciful and the compassionate. So those who are aligned with mercy and compassion are they who are, inshallah, uh, aligned with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who are not are uh, taking the opposite position. So piety and God consciousness requires the cultivation of empathy, mercy, compassion, love, ultimately. As the great Rumi said, love is the bridge. Love is the bridge between you and everything. And if we're ever, the whole point of life and existence is to grow in knowledge and awareness, consciousness, to ascend ultimately to know our Lord, to know our Creator. 
And the only way we can truly know Allah is through love. There is no such thing as love for God without love for his creation. That is hypocrisy. That's evil. There's no such thing. That's when people claim to be this or that, but in reality are agents of chaos and agents of evil. So this war between light and dark, good and evil, has been with humanity from the very beginning. And it is not sufficient to identify as anything to be on the side of right versus wrong. Being a Jew or a Christian or a Muslim in name means almost nothing. And Allah himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, clarifies this in the Quran. So this is very different from other belief systems. For example, uh, the general, I think, understanding of maybe Christianity is that if you believe, all you have to do is believe, all you have to do is affirm with your tongue that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that you're saved. That's it. There's no more accountability for you, no more accounting. Uh, you are now on the saved sect just by espousing this belief. And Jesus himself invalidates this completely, right? according to the Gospels and Scriptures himself. Sayyidina Isa, Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, says, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, uh, didn't we do many great, we did many great works in your name. We cast up many devils in your name. We did all of this in your name. And I will say to them, liars, you are deceivers, you are evildoers. I never knew you. Depart from me. So who is saying that, Lord, Lord, to Sayyidina Isa, to Jesus, it's not Christians. It's not people who claim to follow him and believe in him. It's not people who uh, say with their tongues that they accepted him as their Lord and Savior, that they believed. And Jesus is saying, depart from me. You are evildoers. I never knew you. So this is one understanding of who is on the side of right based on what you claim to believe. In Christianity itself, actually, the scriptures, Jesus himself invalidates this. And you can look this up. It's in the Gospels. He himself invalidates this. And Islam, of course, invalidates this. It's not enough just to say you believe. And then there's another idea, perhaps this exists predominantly in Judaism, that you're born into this rank and station of being God's chosen people. That you are chosen virtue by uh, purely by virtue of birth. What you were born as, that makes you special. And of course, Islam invalidates this as well. Because the Quran says you are the best of nations. Now he's speaking to believers. You are the best of nations, but there's a qualification. Why? Because you enjoin good and forbid evil. That's what makes you the best of peoples, the best of nations. If you don't enjoin good and forbid evil, this doesn't apply to you. So we live in an age now where really truth is coming to light in a way that perhaps never before has been so apparent and so clear between light and dark, between uh, good and evil, between hypocrisy and sincerity. And it transcends labels. So we ask and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all always to be uh, sincere and humble. What this really requires from us is faith more than anything is the situation now that exists and the world that we are and that we have entered into now requires faith there is no other way like faith is going to be everything in the world now and in the future because we're now entering into really what clearly is uh the ultimate confrontation or, or, or disparity between light and dark, good and evil. And you can clearly see, like, it's just incomprehensible to me. And I think to the majority of people in the world, um, how we can be witnessing and standing by as uh, tens of thousands of human beings are displaced, bombed, murdered, maimed, and uh, excuses and rationalizations are given for this continually in doublespeak, you know, in, uh, in hypocritical language, and statements that make no sense. And I think everybody's beginning to see through that. 
But what is required now, what's required of the people in Palestine, what's required of the people in Gaza, what's required of the people here in America or in England or anywhere in the world now is faith, real faith, faith that becomes absolute and unshakable. And Allah Almighty himself says, do you think that you can say you believe, that you have faith, and you will not be tested, as were those before you? Because testing, hardships, and difficulties requires faith to become real, to become stronger. And faith fluctuates. Uh, faith can go up, can go down based on our environment, based on our focus, based on our actions, based on our thoughts, and subsequent feelings and emotions. Faith fluctuates. And... The faith itself, religion, spirituality, is to continually uh, strengthen faith to the point that it becomes absolute, unshakable, absolute faith. Like a fortress that cannot be uh, assaulted by anything. It becomes absolute. That was the faith of Bilal, alayhi salam, radiallahu anhu. That's the faith, for example, of many now in Gaza and Palestine. Uh, it has to become absolute. And Allah Almighty says also that if if believers do not honor what he has given them, right, Muslims, if they don't honor and carry what he has given them, he will replace them with the people that will. So faith is not something religion, uh, the opportunity to cultivate and awaken faith is not something that we can take for granted. We have to seize it. And so now, uh, again, what is necessary and what is required more than anything in the world is faith because it'll be faith the ultimate confrontation battles uh, struggles will be between faith and unfaith unbelief light and dark and faith is by definition light in the heart of the human being so the only thing that we can do to counter uh, what's happening um, within ourselves is to strengthen our faith and one of the best ways, of course, to strengthen faith is to immerse yourself. To immerse yourself in the remembrance of Allah, in the worship of Allah. We have to remember that when Allah is with the believers, nothing can overpower them. And everything is in Allah's hands. Everything is under Allah's control. So the stronger that we can align ourselves with faith and we will be tested, uh, Ultimately, Allah will grant victory to they who believe. So what's happening now is in something new. This happened in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And we're witnessing again uh, the echo of history. Right In the beginning, the Prophet of Allah ﷺ in the same way. And his companions were uh, driven from their homes. They were starved. They were laid siege upon. And they were forced to flee Mecca. Right? in a hijrah and so in the same way we have to make hijrah now from weakness and weak faith to strength impregnable faith absolute faith from the world to Allah's presence we have to also make hijrah so the Prophet of Allah <laughs> and his companions were driven out they were murdered they were beaten they were tortured uh, they were assaulted you know, there were times where they had nothing to eat. You know, they had to tie stones around their belly just to deal with the pains of hunger. But they returned victorious to Mecca and, and took it over peacefully. And they did not behave like their oppressors. And of course, this is the Islamic way, an Islamic example. Just like Salahuddin Ayyubi, when he took back Jerusalem, when, when the Crusaders took Jerusalem, they say the streets ran thick with blood up to the ankles and knees of the horses because of indiscriminate killing, murder, and mayhem. But Salahuddin took it back and did not commit any of those crimes. And they were afraid that he would do to them what they did to the Muslims and the Jews, in fact. And Salahuddin said, we are not of those people. We are not like that. It's not our way. That is not our religion. We're not permitted. So what's happening now is not uh, is not anything that hasn't happened before, but it's happening again. And uh, we know, of course, from the seer and from the traditions, uh, from traditional Islamic knowledge, that this was destined to happen. 
I think that's the amazing thing, actually, the remarkable thing, that all of this was essentially prophesized by the Prophet ﷺ, that this would happen, that uh, ultimately the Antichrist would establish himself there, and this would be the ultimate uh, sort of battle between good and evil, between light and dark, and that Jesus ﷺ will return with the Mahdi and slay the Antichrist there specifically. So what is required now of us is faith and hijra and migration from illusion, from falsehood, from dunya, from self, uh, from vanity, from sleep and unconsciousness to truth and to light, to faith, to strength, right, to belief. And the best thing we can do, of course, is to immerse ourselves, to use this as what it is, really an opportunity for awakening, a massive opportunity for awakening. And the world is waking up, and, and we also have the opportunity to be waking up. Um, so it, it's hard, it's difficult to see and witness what's happening, but we have to keep strengthening our hearts, our souls, our faith, and that's what's required of us. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us guidance and wisdom and make it easy for us to do what's right and to stay on the path of truth and light and uh, not give in to despair and hopelessness and despondency, but to maintain faith and maintain trust as our Prophet ﷺ did, as the companions did, because victory is for the believers. There's nothing, there's nothing that can stop that. Victory is for they who believe, they who are on the side of right and truth, the side of goodness, the side of mercy and compassion, the side of justice. No matter what any power in the world thinks they can do, they're, they're like they're not even ants in the presence of Allah. And when he says enough is enough, everything will change. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and strengthen us and prepare us with impenetrable faith, impregnable faith in our hearts and souls. And make us to be, inshallah ta'ala, pillars of faith, mountains of faith. And to serve a noble purpose in this world and in the day and in the age that we find ourselves in. That we were created for. And uh, welcome to you all who are here. I think we have almost 100 people here. Um, and whoever sees this on the recording. Again, may Allah Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you, your homes, your families, to becoming bastions of faith citadels of faith, castles of faith. Uh, and, and the opposite of faith, remember, is fear. So we must not give in to fear, despair, hopelessness. These are the opposite of faith. Although subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that it is the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah, the name Allah specifically, that brings peace and tranquility, serenity to the hearts of human beings. So inshallah, with his grace, may we immerse ourselves in dhikr Allah, and that will change everything. That will change everything. Allahumma salli ala Sayyid Muhammad wa ala Sayyid Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we make a, we'll transition inshallah into a dhikr in meditation and spiritual practice. We have to take a action, whatever God guides us to that's positive and constructive in the world, practical action. And concurrently, we have to be immersing ourselves in spirituality. You cannot take practical action, outward action without internal action. We cannot engage in uh, jihad on the external level without engaging in jihad in the internal level. Otherwise, our jihad is corrupted, poisoned, and unacceptable, whatever that happens to be. So the most effective action we can take, whatever form it happens to be, whether you are sharing information online, creating content, um, anything you happen to be doing in life, or any, any form of external action, it becomes blessed and empowered with internal action, with spirituality, real spiritual practice and development. Islam is not just a religion that's external. We have to, as the Prophet and his companions did, immerse ourselves uh, in a deep relationship with Allah through worship in the deep night. That's a solitary experience. Uh, that's an experience at night when nobody's watching. That's an experience when you're alone, Right, in your dhikr, in your meditation, in your prayers, in your qiyam, that's very different from outward action, and which which is done collectively. Right? Collective action is done externally, but uh, spiritual action typically, right, ultimately is done uh, inwardly, and often and ultimately alone, 
And spiritual activity once in a while also must be done in a congregation like we're doing now. This is to encourage us for, for personal spiritual action, worship, practice, to strengthen our hearts and souls and to strengthen our relationship and our connection with the divine presence. So um, we have to be doing both. We have to be doing both. Uh, spiritual development and action in the world. And these two require one another. You can't do just one or the other. You can't just do spiritual action either, by the way. You can't just be praying and worshiping and making dhikr in a corner in a mosque and not doing something meaningful in the world either uh, because that's also insufficient. So the, the, the balanced path, the straight path, uh, the middle path always requires uh, both at the same time, outer and inner. So inshallah, for, for now, we'll we'll encourage and engage in inner spiritual work because it has also a real um, benefit for us and also inshallah god willing uh, for others as well for the community for your environment for your home but we make also special intention that inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant uh, mercy strength and power and peace and and victory to to our brothers and sisters to human beings who are suffering oppression and tyranny specifically in in gaza and in palestine so I want to take a moment now. We're going to shift and transition to uh, take a moment and just maybe even close your eyes and begin by making an intention. What do you need? What is required of you? And connect your heart with all Almighty's love and mercy and power and light oceans and consciously make an intention for this moment in this practice. It's always important to begin things with intention. And we'll make a collective intention that Allah strengthens our connection to His presence, to His light, to His love, to His strength, to His power, to His peace. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthens the connection of our hearts to His divine presence and nourishes and sustains and feeds our hearts and souls and our bodies and our minds with his light and his peace. That he guides our hearts and our actions, our thoughts and our feelings and emotions to what is good, what is blessed, and what is in alignment with his will. That increasingly we become servants serving his will. And we empty ourselves of ourselves and our egos and become selfless, honored, noble, sacred servants of the Almighty, true khulafa, true deputies. We ask for his forgiveness, his protection and his peace on us, our homes, our families, and on our ummah, this nation. And with spiritual activity comes mercy and protection. And we pray that that mercy and protection descends on the innocent human beings in Palestine and throughout the world. And we pray that Allah establishes us as warriors and soldiers of faith and of light that he uses us and grants us the honor of being in his divine service in the world to do good to establish justice to enjoin good and forbid and prevent evil and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength in our bodies and our minds 
and our hearts, that we may carry out his will and we may seek to serve him and to serve goodness and righteousness. Pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants healing to us at every level, physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. And, he, and that he raise us and that he raise and again awaken this nation. Ya Rab, awaken this nation from its sleep and grant us to return to excellence. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ameen wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-mursaleen wa ala kula anbiya wa mursaleen walhamdulillah hirabil alameen bismillahman rahim Peace and blessings upon the prophets most especially the last and final messenger to mankind Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family, his companions and those who righteously and sincerely follow in his footsteps in the name of Allah, most merciful, most gracious, most gracious, most compassionate, we begin. And let us begin by seeking to remain in this connected state. As we recite the Shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله and we proceed with seeking first and foremost forgiveness, turning back to Allah, the foundation of goodness. Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, 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 Estafirullah, 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 Relax, connect, stay connected. If 
feel and intend your heart to be directed towards Allah. <clears throat> and Allah say three times Surah Ikhlas, chapter of sincerity. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad. Allahu akbar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر فاتحة شريف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين فعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 
La ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha illallah. لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد حبيب الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد حبيب الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد النبي الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد النبي الله عليه صلاة الله لا إله إلا الله وسلم Allah be dhikr Allah that my inu qulub we continue with dhikr Allah and as we do this continue to focus on your heart and focus the power of the dhikr of Allah the name of Allah the light of Allah your source your creator your God in your heart Allah 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 Allah
Allah, 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 Take a moment and continue to make dhikr Allah silently in your heart. You feel your heart beating with the dhikr of the name Allah. 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 Continue to breathe and to relax. And through his remembrance, they connected with Allah. By his mercy, his light, his power, his peace, his strength. And as you breathe and make dhikr, feel his light filling you, fortifying you, healing you, bringing you in every cell to life, awakening your heart in the heart of every cell in your body. Become the dhikr of Allah. Breathe. Relax. Remember. With each breath, feel all Almighty's guidance and light entering and filling you. strengthening and supporting you, healing and balancing you, awakening you, protecting you. And take that light and that energy and direct it towards those innocents 
and Palestine. See that mercy descending upon them. Upon those men and women and young, innocent children. Strength and peace from Allah's mercy and light, power, oceans descending upon the people of Gaza and Palestine. Hope, resilience, faith, strength settling into their hearts and souls. awakening ever greater faith in their hearts, strength, fortitude, endurance, a will to survive and to endure. And see Allah Almighty's divine peace descending on that entire region. And that his mercy and light and guidance also reaches the hearts of those who have goodness in them. And guides them to right action, to truth and to faith. Breathe, relax, connect, remember. Remember who you are and were created to be servant of Allah Most High. This world is fleeting, passing. Eternity awaits.
do your best in this world or turn your heart towards Akhira, eternity. And we will move towards concluding by calling upon Allah with his some of his blessed and beautiful names that he may dress us with them and awaken them in us. Yahu Yahu Yadaim Ya hu ya hu ya daim Ya hu ya hu ya daim Allah ya hu ya daim Ya daim Ya daim Ya daim Ya Allah Ya daim Ya Daim, Ya Daim, Ya Allah, Ya Halim, Ya Halim, Ya Halim, Ya Allah, Ya Halim, Ya Halim, Ya Halim, Ya Allah, Ya Hafiz, Ya Hafiz. Ya Hafiz, Ya Allah, Ya Hafiz, Ya Hafiz, Ya Hafiz, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafar, Ya Ghafar, Ya Ghafar, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafar, Ya Ghafar, Ya Ghafar, Ya Allah, Ya Satar, Ya Satar, Ya Satar, Ya Allah, Ya Satar, Ya Satar, Ya Satar, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Allah, Ya Karim, Ya Karim, Ya Karim, Ya Allah, Ya Karim, Ya Karim. Ya Karim, Ya Allah, Ya Razak, Ya Razak, Ya Razak, Ya Allah, Ya Razak, Ya Razak, Ya Razak, Ya Allah, Ya Latif, Ya Latif. Ya Latif, Ya Allah, Ya Latif, Ya Latif, Ya Latif, Ya Allah, Ya Nur, Ya Nur, Ya Nur, Ya Allah, Ya Nur, Ya Nur, Ya Nur, Ya Allah, Ya Salam, Ya Salam, Ya Salam, Ya Allah, Ya Salam, Ya Salam, Ya Salam, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Hasbunallahu ni'amu wakil. 
يا من مولا ونعم الناس غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين عملوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 صل يا ربي وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل الأجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين يا رب العالمين يا كريم يا رحم الرحيمين يا غفار يا ستار يا جبار يا قهار يا فتح يا لطيف يا نور يا الله May Allah may subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us this majlis of dhikr, this gathering of dhikr, global gathering of dhikr. And may his mercy and light descend upon us, but especially upon the beleaguered and beloved brothers and sisters struggling and suffering in Palestine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them peace, protection, strength, fortitude, forbearance, stronger and stronger faith, and inshallah ta'ala justice and victory. May light prevail over darkness, good over evil, right over wrong, truth over falsehood. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor us and guide us and bless us and protect us that we be on the side of goodness and light. May he protect us and keep us away from tyranny and oppression and evil and darkness. May Allah Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to strengthen and awaken and guide us and this nation, this ummah, to again rise to excellence and beauty, to strength, to victory, to success, to goodness and to justice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala empower us to become messengers of justice and righteousness, of peace. Allahumma ameen. Ya Rabbi, Ya Kareem, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Allah, Ya Tu Jalali wal Ikram. Allahumma salli ala Sayyid Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyid Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyid Muhammad in Salat al Fatihi, Lima Oglak al Khati, Ula Masabak Nasr al Hakul Hakul Hadi, Ila Salat al Kumustakim, Wala Ali wa Sahi Haka Khadrihi wa Mikdari Hil Adim. Subhanahu Rabbi Karabal Izzati Amma Yasifun, Was Salamun al Mursanin, Walhamdulillahi Rabbi al Alameen. الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وعلى المهوب عليهم ولا طالين آمين يا الله ما يسمحنا تعالى accept and bless and reward and strengthen you all shall we replace the frustration and the pain and the hurt the anger in our hearts with hope with faith, with guidance, with purpose, with clarity, inshallah. Allahumma ameen. Thank you for joining, inshallah. We'll conclude as we are a few minutes over the time. Uh, and I'll look forward to, inshallah, ta'ala connecting with you guys uh, in this session next month in January. I'll be traveling for the next few weeks. Uh, inshallah, we'll reconnect and I'll send an email to anybody, um, everybody on the mailing list for the date for our next uh, global decade, inshallah. And we will, uh, inshallah ta'ala, continue to meet. For those who would like to be a bit more connected, uh, you're welcome to join us within Awakenings Academy where we meet uh, weekly, several times a week, in fact, at least two or three times per week for the care, for study circles, and for sahbah and uh, meditation as well. Thank you all. Jazakul khairun. Uh, may Allah be with you and your loved ones, inshallah, and with our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Fi amanullah. وإياكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله العظيم وبركاته Take care everyone Be well السلام عليكم ورحمة الله